I'm finally getting a chance to get back on the water and catch some bass. I'm going to a pond that last time I was here, I caught quite a few bass and I actually caught two five pounders. And in Ohio, that's something special. So hopefully we can get on a bite. I'm hoping to throw a frog around, maybe punch. I don't, I'm not really sure yet. We'll see what the day holds. I like to make a long, beautiful intro, but I'm itching to catch bass. So uh, let's just get into it. This looks great for a frog. And let me tell you, I am itching to catch bass. I haven't been fishing in feel like forever. So we got the old ducket, 50 pound braid, 40 pound actually. I like to be having a little bit heavier, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So try this frog out, see what happens. So many mats here, which just makes me think frog all day, every day. If not, maybe, maybe punch, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Now, normally top water is not something I throw on a bluebird day like this, but when there's cover, especially mats, a frog can just excel and it doesn't even have to be like overcast or windy or whatever. Your usual top water situations because what those bats do is they just hide under that cover. And when they see a frog or something going across, they freak out. So hopefully that's the case today. We'll see though, if not, I got other tricks in my book. And we'll just see what happens. When I'm fishing the frog, I like to def go as natural as possible. So a frog or a bait fish or whatever is not gonna sit around when he's not in cover. So say there's a spot with some open water in it, in between mats or whatever, that frog's not gonna just hang around and just chill there because he knows that there's stuff that's gonna eat him if he just stays in the wide open. So, when I go across wide open areas, um, just wide water, not really any cover, I speed it up and I make it look really erratic. And then it's once I get over the cover, when I'll slow it down, and work it a little better or a little slower not better and then again once i get to that cover i slow it down kind of give them more time to look at it um, and plus through that cover they can't really see it they really just see movement and that's when i get a lot of my hits is when it stops on top of cover anyways i don't say this often because I hate grass carp, but this pond could use one or two grass carp. This really, honestly, this is kind of a smaller lake, but it could use a few grass carp just because this place is just loaded. Like even the bottom is just covered in grass. And that can just be, make it a challenge throwing any sort of lure besides like Texas rig. <coughs> or a frog. Oh, there was a blow up. And that is one of the frustrations with throwing a frog over heavy mats. They get it in their mouth maybe 50% of the time. And it can just be a real challenge getting them to come in or to really commit to it fully because, or they commit to it, committing to it's not the problem. It's the fact that they just can't always accurately come through the mats and get it in their mouth all the way, which can be frustrating for sure.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I suck at fishing. That thing was a decent fish and I just blew it. Come back, sir. That was so bad. Like, I guess that was so bad. But I'm so used to going to work. And I really need to wear pants at work because it would be so much. There's a fish, finally. That's a good one, too. Oh, yeah, and the camera's rolling. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's a nice bass. There we go, boys. Look at that. Yes, sir, finally. Finally connected on a bass. It took long enough. Whoa there, buddy. Took long enough. Oh, he is on fire. Tearing all the crap out of my thumb. It's a nice bass. A little skinny post-spawn, obviously. You can see with that belly, very post-spawn. But oh, he destroyed that frog. It is about time, too. That is a nice bass. Oh yeah, well, guess, let's get a release on her if I can find some open water right here. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a release on this puppy. Back in, oh, that water is so warm. And he's off. That was awesome. Two thumbs up, finally. Finally a frogfish. Look at that, look at all this salad I pulled out of there. All right. <laughs> Okay, before we flare, I'm gonna put two hands on her. Oh my god. We'll give her a quick drink in the water. And now we'll get a weight. Dude, I struggled. I had to carry her like 30 yards over here. And that was a struggle. Good night. Okay, just stay there. I'm trying to get this all calm down. I'm gonna get this in a place that's not under her gills, but instead just the gill plate. If you put it under their gills, it can really, really hurt them. So let's put it under there. See how much this sucker weighs. Oh yeah. If you can see that, it says four pounds, four ounces. Oh, that would have been a five pounder anywhere else. That is a chunk. That is a chunk. Let's get a picture and then we'll get her back in the water. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, sir. I know you want to go. I'm, I'm letting you go. All right, let's put her back in the water so she can be free and make babies for the future generations of this pond. Look at the head, look at the mouth, look at the head on, look at everything on this fish. Wow. Oh, she's ready. She's got to go the right direction, baby girl. Come on. Whew, the power of that bass. <sighs> that is why I came out here as a holy cow. I know some of you southern guys are like, what are you doing? It's a four and a half pound bass. Come on. You don't understand. Here in Ohio, just in the north in general, that is a rare, wow, I'm shaking. That is a rare occurrence. That is just, mm, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Oh boy. She is a feisty little thing. Hello there. Smoke that frog. Dang, these fish are fired up. They won't even let me grab them without flopping all over the place. Ooh, I've got both hooks right in the top of the mouth, just how I like it. Pound and a half fish, nothing compared to the last one, but a fish is a fish in my book. 
Oh, she destroyed the frog. I'm gonna need a new frog after the, today. Today has not been very kind to my old frog friend. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast. I, I can't just describe how awesome frog fishing is. If you've never frog fished, you have to go to your local sporting school or your local tackle shop, pick up a frog, pick up some braid and just tie it on. It is so much fun. It's such a blast. Every time you see a blow up, your heart just gets pounding. It's so awesome and you gotta try it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm still ecstatic from catching that massive fish. Put up an awesome fight, awesome blow ups. Just a good day overall. That's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, leave any questions you have in the comments below. And as always, fish hard, learn more. I'll see you in the next episode.